Pretty much the last time I ever stepped foot into a bar was when I had a terrible farting disorder. It was really overwhelming. I was probably 32, 33. It was a while ago, but yeah, not too long ago, I guess, as well, in my 30s. But it was, uh, it was something. It was, it was nice that uh, the noise was covered up, but it wasn't airy enough. And uh, the girl I was with <laughs> smelled every one. And they were probably going off like once every every uh, ten minutes or less, once every eight minutes. I just, I was overwhelmed with with the air. I was, I was windy. In Chinese uh, medicine, you, would, you, you, you have the condition of being windy. But uh, I didn't. I didn't really want to go to the bar, especially with my farting disorder. I, I warned her. I told her, you know, I I'm, I have this this gas problem. I've been suffering with it for weeks, it, and uh, <clears throat> and right now, you know, I was I was really uh, having issues. But we were talking over the phone. When when I was uh, trying to explain to her that you know my my farting is really bad, uh, it wasn't until we we met up at the bar and she learned uh, that I was not lying about it and that it really was a big problem <laughs> because every time uh, I, I farted and and. Uh, she was in the draft of it, the wind draft. She was like, "Oh my goodness, you know it was uh it was uh quite quite uh quite an experience but i i just i had such a a problem with farting because i i uh I suffered this stomach disorder and um I was trying to change up my diet to get relief i was I had a lot of pain in my stomach it was it's causing a lot of insomnia and and just general fatigue my I was up all night sometimes my stomach would flutter me awake it, it was it was a terrible terrible injury and I was just trying to get relief so I was uh, when I started really farting bad I I was I was consuming like vegetables a lot of fibrous vegetables um, like the from the frozen food section. I, was try I cooked them. I was able to cook them a little bit here and there, and I was just tr seeing maybe I need maybe I needed those types of vitamins, um, but it just it turns out that it was just causing a lot of uh, overwhelming amounts of farting, and it, um, I tried to compensate for that by by consuming uh, foods that would um, reduce reduce farting. I might have tried Beano once. Now nah, I wanted to stick with uh, with natural stuff, um, so like pepper, cayenne pepper or black pepper, and uh, ginger. Um, there, there. Even um, I, I was trying uh, sauerkraut. I thought maybe the fermented cabbage would help, but all that did was cause cavities in my teeth. Um, I was I was trying all kinds of things and it was it's really getting bad. I was I was, I was uh, trying to isolate myself, but uh, you know I I thought I I gave in. I was like, okay, maybe I could go out and fart in public a lot at, at the bar. You know, though everybody <laughs> people won't know exactly who to blame, um, and uh, it, it'll be too loud for anybody to hear and and all that. But I mean. If if I stood in one spot for too long, you know, people people will move and shuffle, and eventually, uh, the, they would come to the conclusion that it's coming from maybe my general area. So I I couldn't stay at the bar for very long. I I probably got got there to fart like 15 to 20 times, and inside in the public, and really, um, you know, emit my own my own uh my own wind. Uh, in the place before I left, um, and I never really went back to the bar. I think uh, they banned smoking in the bar, so I, they couldn't cover that up with cigarette smoke either. It's just b beer and fart. <laughs>